Alice and George, the parents of a 10-year-old girl, were petrified when they discovered that she was pregnant, and they had no way of finding out who the father was. But on the day of delivery, doctors discovered something too surprising. Both Alice and George were very proud of their beautiful daughter named Sia, who like any normal girl liked to play, go on adventures, to the movies or to the fair. It was truly a very united family, where love and trust were the basis of the home. However Sia was too sociable, she really liked to talk to anyone when the opportunity presented itself. And people liked that spontaneity that made them always willing to talk to her. Her father always used to joke with her, and despite everything, Sia didn't get upset, she just enjoyed it. And she was never alone, since when she was not with her parents or her friends, she was at school. Where she was a very outstanding girl in most of her subjects. And she also liked to participate and enjoy all the activities that took place inside and outside of school. So Sia seemed to have a future full of success, which is why their parents were very proud of her, being the model girl, whose role model would be the ideal that many families dreamed of having. However, a whole world of dreams and illusions fall precipitously to the ground when they learn the devastating and shocking news that their parents never imagined could happen to them. That morning Sia began to feel sick, she complained of having severe stomach cramps. So at first their parents thought it could be an upset stomach due to eating some spoiled food. So they told the girl to rest. The next day, Sia woke up better and her parents thought that everything had happened. However, as the days, and even weeks, passed, the girl began to experience new very worrying symptoms, as they were accompanied by a strange bulge in her abdomen. Even her innocent parents are still looking for an explanation, they thought it would be some type of swelling, and still not knowing how hard the situation they will have to face. So they decide to find out once and for all what is happening to her beloved daughter. So George makes an appointment for a visit to the hospital, so he can find out once and for all what his daughter is suffering from. At the hospital, when examining Sia, the doctor frowns as a sign that something very strange was happening, then very quietly he concentrates on taking the girl's blood pressure, and even performs some blood tests, and then performs other more in-depth studies. But after seeing the blood tests, the doctor did not need to do anything else, since the girl, who was only 10 years old, was pregnant, and was even several months pregnant. Her parents were astonished by this situation, they did not understand how it was possible that something like this was happening to them. Thousands of questions filled their heads, they still could not assimilate the reality they were experiencing, they did not understand how it was possible for a girl to get pregnant at only 10 years old, nor did they know what they were going to do in the face of such a serious situation. But suddenly, all those doubts were fading, and they were replaced by anger. Now they were wondering who could have done that to her, and they could clearly see that this pregnancy could have been the result of something terrible, which must have happened to their little girl. But her parents were determined to get to the bottom of this. So they started asking Sia if she knew who got her pregnant, they also asked her if someone had touched her inappropriately, or maybe, someone had hurt her and was threatening her so she wouldn't say anything. However, to everyone's surprise, Sia answered no to all of her questions, and she seemed as sincere, and as confused as her parents. So not content with that, Alice and George began a thorough investigation. They started her off with a list of possible men who could have had contact with her. They began by asking questions to school bus drivers, teachers, coaches, and anyone who may have had contact with her. Oh and what could not be missing, a DNA test on the baby, and then on all the suspects. But the mystery was not solved, since none of the chosen men matched his DNA. The more time she went without resolving anything, the more outraged Sia's parents became, until it was time for her to give birth. Therefore, Alice and George began to feel a strange mixture of mixed feelings. On the one hand, anger and sadness, and on the other, emotion and tenderness, since they always thought about the day of having a grandchild. What they would never have thought was that their grandson would be born under these strange circumstances. 
At times Alice and George felt emotional and smiled, and at other times, tears came to their eyes as they saw how their lives had suddenly changed, and how their precious little girl had gotten into this terrible situation. So for now there is no time for regrets, they had to be there to take care of their daughter and their grandson. Because she had started labor. After an easy and short delivery, despite the risk due to the girl's age, Sia gave birth to a boy whom she named Raoul. Although the girl could tell that she was exhausted, she felt very proud of her little baby. On the other hand, the doctors who examined the baby confirmed that she is in perfect health, and that Sia's fragile little body did not present any type of damage, which is why it is classified as a miracle, since due to her age she was a high-risk birth. That same afternoon, when the doctors went to see Sia, they found her sitting on the hospital bed, looking bored, since her parents had left her alone for a moment with her son Raoul, while they were heading home to look for some things that they had to bring for the baby. The doctors couldn't stand seeing her like this, and to cheer her up one of the doctors gave her two dolls, one male and the other female, to play with while one of them checked Raoul. Sia looked at them and smiled, while the doctor was watching her from the corner of her eye, when suddenly, he was surprised to see that the girl placed the dolls in such a way that it seemed like they were making the delicious one. Immediately, curious about what was happening, the doctor approached and began to question her. <laughs> So he asks who each of the dolls are. <laughs> so Sia, with a tender innocent <laughs> smile, answers that she is the one below, and the one above is her friend Furman, who lives several houses away from her, who was barely a couple of years older. That she and her mother have known his family for a long time, and she confessed that since she was little she played with him. Therefore, the doctor asks her about the way she placed the dolls, and the innocent and spontaneous answer left him speechless, since it was the way Sia and Furman positioned themselves to play. Now, the whole mystery is revealed for the doctor. The real father of Sia's son was not a man who had abused the girl, but Roel's true and legitimate father is Furman, the son of her neighbor and her lifelong friend. The doctor immediately called Alice and Giorgio to inform them of the discovery, so they were shocked just like him, Having thought that some adult could have done something bad to her, it turned out that the truth was very different. So Nuria and George asked Furman's parents if they could do a DNA test on their son. Therefore, they agreed to collaborate with everything necessary, since after that revelation, their lives will change completely. While waiting for the results, Furman's parents asked questions about everything regarding Sia's pregnancy. But after all this, Something became very clear, that Furman, like Sia, were very innocent, and did not have the slightest idea of what was happening, and the consequences that their games entailed. Because they thought they were just having fun. And now just because they are having fun, they must face the hard task of being parents and raising their child at such a young age. On the other hand, both Alice and George were so surprised by everything that they didn't even have time to get angry, and the only thing they had left to do was support them and be by their side to help raise Raoul. In fact, Alice and George agree to raise their grandson as if he were theirs, but without ever hiding the true identity of his parents. Although the reality is that neither Furman nor Sia were at all prepared to be parents, although one day they could decide to have more children, on the contrary, now they needed to be children and preserve their innocence. Until they grow up and become adults. Now tell us, what do you think of this story? What would you have done if you discovered that your daughter was pregnant at the age of 10? Stories in English